Hello everybody. Uh, today I got a special uh, issue here, a special video for uh, for the channel. Uh, this is David. He's also uh, the Sock Monkey. He has a channel of his own. I'll put a link in the description. Hey, Hello. And he, uh, he, this is his catalog. There's a video out there about uh, this catalog that I've done. Uh, he's obviously done plenty of videos on his channel for, for that car. There's mine. We've just got through uh, filming each other's cars and now there's going to be a little interview. So, uh, David, what can you tell me about uh, this catalog that kind of makes you feel special? Um, so this car, uh, one of the things actually is this car actually, the first owner was an executive of the Jay's Potato Chip Company oh, wow. here in the Chicago area. So, um, I, so I'm not really sure um, what the, um, I'm, I know for one thing, it, it has an inactive, it has a car phone, it's inactive, but uh -huh. it still makes a little beep. If you turn it on, it makes a little beep when you start up the car. Um, and. Uh, I really like. I'm, I'm. I'm wondering if he kind of went with the blue and white theme because if you know Jay's potato chips, they're oh, you're right. Blue and white. So you're right. I did not uh, even make this that this connection. This car is a '94 uh -huh. uh, sedan, 1994 Cadillac sedan uh -huh. Um I am the third owner of the vehicle. It's got 135,000 miles on it. I bought the car with 133. Mm -hmm. um, it's been overall a very good car to me. I've had to replace the distributor, um, the distribu the distributor cap uh, ignition and the ignition uh, module and the coil, but uh, and I've also replaced the tires. Uh, yes, it's very got, nice. Uh, the white wall tires, which um, you know, it's it. Some people like them. Some people don't care for them. Um, Uniroyal. These are Uniroyal Tiger Paws that I just recently got on actually this past week actually. Um, car doesn't have any rust and i i kind of feel guilty um because we both uh we both live in apartments and of course within the chicago area cold and road salt um mm -hmm. apartments condos yes um so uh i kind of feel guilty but i try to wash the car at least once a week um to keep i mean you'd have to go looking for the, you'd have to go looking for the rust there's a little teeny bit of rust on the inside of the door uh, at the bottom on the driver's door, but mm -hmm. otherwise, um, for those who don't know, I had a Kia Rio previously to this car, and that thing was a rust bucket. There was rust everywhere on that car, on that car, and this car just has zero rust whatsoever. Like, there's no visible, like I said, there's no visible rust. No, it's um, very nice. And another thing that's unique about this car is it has the 4.9 liter V8 engine, which is the precursor to the uh, North Star. Uh, the North Stars are not very good engines. However, this engine, uh, it's a very good engine. 4.9 liter V8 produces roughly 200 horsepower. Um, very, very solid engine. And, uh, and if this has the white diamond paint, uh, blue, blue interior, which, um, is for, you don't really the thing is nowadays uh you don't really see you don't really see colors like that anymore no not at uh, all uh you you get um tans uh you get tans you get beiges you get black you get gray you get um maybe if maybe if you're lucky you get like sort of like a chocolate settled brown or you get these scarishly terrible red the garish red that I just it used to be you could get like a deeper burgundy but I love the blue interior and I, nice. I always make a point to like also the top too yeah the, and it's the got contrast. the uh, it's got the uh very nice contrasting uh cloth carriage top mm -hmm. um nice little, little, little nice little gold imprint as well and of course on the hold on a minute because you got to have the hold on oh mix. yes so <laughs> what question so uh that's that's pretty much uh it, and the grill, which uh, was a custom piece, it's a company called ENG that makes the custom grills for okay. these cars. Um, it, it, it took a little bit of getting used to for me, but I actually, I actually like it, and it kind of, you know, I, I've gotten, I've gotten lots of compliments on this car, even, even while out and about, even while out and about. So no, absolutely, it's a, spe it's a special car. Like I said, it you sure don't, is. you don't see these things. Uh, I guess my only other question is uh, now that you've kind of driven it, you owned it, a uh, few, you know more about it. Is there anything that you that that kind of surprised you that uh, you know coming from a smaller car um, to a bigger car? Maybe something you don't like or of, anything that was surprising. It was a bit of a learning curve to. Um, it was a bit of a learning curve to. Um, 
to to uh, to be able to do things like park it mm. um, at first, and there, there's even some stuff. Like, I would not, I try to take, keep this thing out of the city. Mm -hmm. I would not want to parallel park. I would not want to try to parallel park it. Um, and uh, sometimes, sometimes in the, uh, in the apartment complex I live in, I have to uh, sometimes even go around, go around the parking lot and come back again. Um, it's not as, it's, that's the one thing is, you know, if you're coming from a smaller car, you do have to be aware of the, mm -hmm. you do have to be aware of the size. Um, that was, and then the surprise, the other thing that surprised me is how quick it actually, how, I mean, it, sometimes it doesn't feel quick, but it, you know, you can actually, if you wanted to, you could really squeal the, squeal the tires on this thing. All right. Have a little fun. Um, and then, but like, it's the one thing that I just love, um, I commute on the highway, um, I just, the thing is, you know, like you said, um, you, you can just get in this car and you could be having the crummiest day, you could have the crummiest possible day at work or, or what have you, and you can just get in this car and you just forget it, and you just forget about it. And you can just, I can just get this car on the highway, point that hood ornament, set the cruise, make miles, and this is like no other car I've ever owned. and. Um, I've also had a bit of a thing for these big General Motors cars. My grandmother actually had a 94 Buick Roadmaster, which was based on the Caprice uh, yes. platform. And I loved that car. And, you know, even though this is, even though this is front wheel drive, it's not rear wheel drive. And it has the 4.9 instead of the LT1 V8. It's still just, it's still a fantastic car. And I kind of, you know, I kind of think of, kind of, you know, it makes me think of my grandma a little bit. Okay. Well, all right. And correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that the same platform as the Roadmaster? No. No, it's not? No. This is the K-Body platform. Um, actually shares, uh, it's actually the same platform as the Cadillac Civil in these years. Oh, okay. Um, but no, the, uh, the uh, Roadmaster, the Caprice, the mm -hmm. Impala, the, uh, there was an old, there was an old movial version of the wagon. The Cruiser, okay. Uh, Cutlass Cru no, the Custom Cruiser. Those all were a rear rear wheel drive with the 5.7 liter V8 okay. right. or the 350 LT1, wow. whatever you want to call it. All right, <laughs> a rookie mistake on my part. No worries. No worries. <laughs> okay. I mean, no worries. I mean, I uh, people people first you know, some people think that this looks like the Fleetwood, which was the which was the larger version on that same mm -hmm. Roadmaster platform. But no, this is the Sedan Deville. This okay. was actually the first year of this body style. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. This has been a great experience, pr privilege, and pleasure to meet yes. you in person, meet the car, yes. do this I, little car swap. Finally. The last time we tried to do this, I blew a tire. So <laughs> yes, I'm, I felt bad about it. It was unfortunate, but, you know, got new tires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these are very nice. And the winter is coming. I mean, yeah. we are in both Lord. in Chicago and, yeah. and yes. All right. All right, David, the, the sock monkey here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to meet you, meet your car, drive them, have this experience, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.